Hi and welcome back to the show. As most of you might know, this is an oil filter to an RV generator, and that's our how-to project for this week, servicing your RV generator. And joining us once again, you know him, you love him, it's Bill from Bill's RV Service. How you doing, Bill? Good, Stu. How are you today? Just fine. So we're going to be servicing the generator today, right? Correct. We're going to show you how to change the oil. We're going to drain it, change the oil in the filter, and check the air filter. Okay, and first step, I guess, is to see if it's uh, working or warm it up. Huh? We, want to, we want to start it and warm it up so that the oil flows, and then you don't want to start the thing either with with a cold engine. Right. All right, so it's nice and warm right now. Now we can drain it. Here's your pet cock here. Right under here? Right under here. Okay. Some of them are tight, you might need a pair of pliers. Oh, I see, now we're draining it right down there into the pan. Right into a bucket. Mm -hmm. How much oil was in there? Well, they hold roughly about four quarts. You want to check your owner's manual for sure. They'll tell you how much it holds and what weight oil to use. Most of them use a straight 30 weight. Here's your filter here. You need to put a rag down here because they usually go all over the place. And here's this is a filter wrench made specifically for this. So let's take this loose at the same time that's draining. And that's how you want to loosen it. Some of the automotive wrenches will fit, right. but this one, but you can see the oil that comes out oh, yeah. of this thing. I mean, there's just no way to avoid it. Right. So it's kind of a sloppy job. It is a little bit of a messy job. You want plenty of rags handy. Now, it does take a little bit of a time to drain. So while that's draining, why don't we check the oil filter? Okay. Or the air filter, I'm sorry. Air filter is located on the end of this one. And they're all in a little bit of a different place. What should we be checking for with the air filter? Yeah, Bill? We just want to make sure that it's not completely clogged up with dirt and bugs and oil. And there she is. Let's take a look at that and show it to everybody. So how's that look? Uh, that one looks good. Mm -hmm. You can tap it on the ground, make sure that it's not just completely caked inside, but right. that one looks pretty good. So we don't need to change this one? We don't need to change this one. We'll let this one go. Now we want to change the oil about every 100 hours in these generators. Make sure you check your owner's manual though, because some of them may require it more often and some not as often. Okay, now where are we at in our project? Well, while it's draining, why don't we put the filter back in? Okay. Once you hand me that filter there. And you can pick these up where? At, uh, Any of your RV dealers will have these, whether it's a, an Onan or a Generac. Mm -hmm. We want a little bit of oil here. What we want to do is we want to put a little bit of oil on this ceiling ring right here. That way it doesn't completely attach itself, never to be taken off again. I got gotcha. you. Now all this needs to be is, is tight as you can by finger. It doesn't need to be over tight. Now we're going to put the oil in. and I use this pre-measured device here, but most people are just going to use, and you can see the oil coming out. Oh yeah. And how much you put in? Roughly about four quarts, but you want to check your owner's manual and make sure you get it correct. Mm -hmm. You can always check it with a dipstick, which we're going to do in a minute here. That should just about do it then, huh, Bill? I think we're there. All right. Let's check it here one last time. And you just want to make sure that you've got oil on that little uh, stick just, there. Just up, stick. To the, just to the top line, and see. that's where we're at. Up to the top line, right, right there. Right to the top line where it says full. Okay. So let's put this back in. And we're done. That's it? That's it. All right, we've serviced our generator. We've serviced the generator. We've changed the oil, checked the air filter, Change the oil filter. All right. 